gonna be the last time I need to adjust this. Trailer still equipped with everything I need. The four binders, drill gun, and put this back in the other truck for adjusting the hitch. Oh, we got all kinds of them on this trailer. One, two, three, four, five. We got an extra, extra of the nice hooks. Let's go put this back. We're towing with the OG today. <laughs> Just finished up the G56 swap last night. Took it for his maiden voyage to town. We went to the movies last night. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna be towing the track chipper with it. Trailer weighs seven, 8,000 pounds. And the track chipper weighs 14. So, I got a little load for an 04. Originally single, let me give you the backstory on this truck. I originally bought it, single wheel, 3,500 six-speed manual six-speed manual was the nv5600 and i mean it's okay i've always wanted to have a third gen early body style with the g56 in it but that just you only got about a half a year margin that you can snag one of those up and i just i've, I've never had one of them i've only had uh, a bunch of auto third gens and this one i did have a G5606 would have been the late, anyway, besides the point. Modifications to the truck, simple stuff, just a tuner, lift pump, it's got an exhaust brake on it now, airbags in the back. Like I said, it was originally a single rear wheel, did a full dually conversion swap on it. It doesn't help really anything other than just like ride comfortableness because the truck doesn't really handle the kind of weight that I would like to tow on a regular basis that well. But now that it's a dually, you know, I don't mind throwing a big gooseneck on it from time to time. And this would be the time after the first time. This is only the second time I've towed this gooseneck with it. And I wouldn't mind doing it more often. But the last time I towed it, I had the 19.5s on it with quite a bit bigger tires. And it feels a little bit easier off the line now. And this G56 is out of an 06. So what that means, it has the lower gear ratio pretty much across the board. So I did lose about five mile an hour on the top end. Uh, 2,000 ish miles an hour, I'm only doing about 65, which is kind of a bummer because I always liked this truck that it was an intermediate. It could kind of tow and it could kind of highway. Highway about 70 mile an hour at uh, 2,000 RPM. But now we, we shaved a couple off that, but to be realistic, I'm not taking this thing on long road trips anymore. It served me well for quite a few years doing that stuff, but the fourth gen kind of that's where it's at you know what i mean you know what i mean yeah well, we're headed up to get the chipper because we got to clean up a tree at the house but this g56 makes the truck completely feel different different truck what gear am i in i don't even know the gear ratios are all different i guess if you're running any dual disc the trick to it which nobody from the actual manufacturer says is you got to Clutch in a little different location than the other trucks. You gotta file your splines a little bit just to get rid of the ridges. And it makes the drivability so much nicer. You're not really cramming it. You don't feel like you're breaking the shifter off every gear. And the difference between a 5.9 and a 6.7 like a 252 stroke it's 
and then a 6.7 deleted is like a 500 two-stroke. Like they both rip, but that 500 just does some stuff that you go, yeah, more, more of that, please. This thing kind of leaves you high and dry just a little bit on the desire factor. Still fun though. At 338,000 miles on this truck, they doing great. Looked great too. Let's see if he's got the gate open for me. Ah, there happened to be a truck coming. Guess we'll just do the old. Uh, yeah, we'll just park over here. Son of a gun. Doesn't like going to first while you're rolling. Um, Let's mess up traffic. Here comes the truck. Well, I made it. First try. Normally gotta kinda of cheat a little bit, use the 5500's wide track front end for a little assistance. Bring her back around on them deep turns. But... this 50 times to Sunday just tell you guys time and time again this was my first tow rig non CDL single rear wheel 3500 and it did good towing the smaller stuff jeez I mean you could put some air in the airbags but at the end of the day the truck just does not really feel like the new trucks I granted if you're towing something like this on a regular basis and this is the rig that you only have it's going to do the job. I don't doubt it. Even if you did a dually swap on a 2500, yeah, you don't have the sticker for it, yada yada. But let's get some trailer brakes working here. I don't know how this Prodigy thing, I think this one's kind of iffy. But I mean, we really don't have that much weight back there. And that pack brake, come on, hold her back, buddy. I don't need more trailer brakes. It's not doing bad. But it just feels weird. The suspension wise, granted, used to a 5500, but I do have a 4 Gen 3500, and it's just crazy what a stock truck can do. Even a late model 4 Gen, they're getting to be relatively older of a truck, a 4 Gen is. Even the newer ones are upwards of four years old. But just how well those things are right off the freaking lot. They just do work. They feel solid with even, without even running airbags. Because I know towing this with my fortune, it would be uh, just a simple walk in the park, factory exhaust brake. It would hold it in third gear going down that hill, or you could probably go to second. It would definitely hold this in second going that route. But well, it, it's just it's neat to go back and just reminisce a little bit even though i spent all kinds of money on this truck and still kind of tinker with it every once in a while dually swap this dually put a new trans in it the trans is just kind of so this truck is more of what i want it to be and then that gives me a trans for the other projects that's how i justified that big old swap because this was actually pretty dang expensive but we uh yeah we're doing good i like it i like it a lot it's nice to tow with this truck, but I don't think I'd want to, not on a regular basis. We get rid of that fifth wheel rails and put the BMW in there. I think I'll like it a little bit more because that thing kind of clunks. I don't like, I don't like it clunk. Can you guys tell how steep this hill actually is? There's what well, feels like a level spot, but guaranteed it's not. Go right down in here. Yeah, 
it's definitely good slope. Check out this little kicker on the right. I always want to take a dirt bike off that, but never mustered up the courage. That just third gear, we're at 2700 RPM. She's just pushing her 32 mile an hour, 2800. It's holding it back. What is this? You got to watch out for stuff like this ahead of us. There's some people in the ditch, don't know what they're doing. Cleaning it out maybe, but then we got somebody hitchhiking right here. Then you gotta watch out for these people wanting to pop out. Oh, it looks like they lost their... Oh, there's an accidental. Where's the... I don't understand. There's a bunch of Gatorades in the ditch. What's that about? In a Gatorade truck and left a Toyota bumper there. Huh. I guess I'm just a little bit more in tune with this truck because I can actually hear the engine. Narrow bridge, watch out. You know, like towing this chipper with a new truck, you can virtually just let it do its thing as far as downshifting and stopping coming up to a light like what we're about to do. Let's see how this thing behaves, just dropping gears. We won't hit the brakes. Just downshift. Maybe the camera will stay on. Oh, check out this setup right here. I think maybe this is a guy. Yeah, he's towing it with like a PJ or a Big Tex. Yeah, a Kaufman. I don't know what that thing is. It's like a mobile setter upper thing. But those trailers are just flexing like crazy. And they got a lot of weight on the axles. I had to hit the brakes a little bit. Clunk. That damn fifth wheel slider hitch thing kind of sucks we need to delete on that what, what the heck is this should we have a chipper battle i'm set up on a 90 horse tune right now so that's a pretty big bump that'll put it over what a high output truck is up today and wow it just, <laughs> it left some to be desired, is what I'm saying. Clunk, clunk, clunk. That stupid rail system. How do they even make those legal? They don't even make sense. Just a BMW turnover ball and the companion hitch and everything you need, you're good to go. Oh, we made it. Saw Tabit. He's right down the road doing another job. Did he? Open gate, please. He was like, you want me to just bring my chipper by after I'm done with that job? And I was like, yeah, kind of, but I think I'll probably be done with this by the time you get done with yours. So I just want to get this done, taken care of. Nice early Saturday morning job working for yourself. What is this? What am I smelling? Who knows? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. my gate thing. What's he think he's driving? Mario Kart? Forgot to film an outro. Came back home, cleaned up some storm damage we had here on the property. Tavis stopped by with his chipper that is, uh, well, put it this way, it is very, very much more expensive than the chipper that we have, and it's uh, a 20 inch chipper and we got an 18 inch chipper so he's only got a couple more inches for a couple of hundred more grand but anyway the g56 swamp well, everything i was hoping for it to be to be honest with you guys at the end of the day it's kind of a thing i'm doing for fun just to make the old girl the truck that i've always wanted it to be and truthfully it's super super close next video we're going to put new seats in the thing so the 300,000 mile original seats the cushions are a little faded out torn up just a little bit not a lot of tears and we're going to finally get rid of something i was kind of talking about in this video that was bothering me and has always bothered me the rail system for the gooseneck hitch you saw it in the beginning of the video that quick coupler thing is just rubbish we're going to get rid of that and put a bmw turnover ball on it so look forward to that in the next video but the g56 swap i'm going to say it, it shifts smoother it's easier to drive it's more comfortable 
And situations like when I was backing in off the highway there into Hoss's place to grab the chipper, when you want to slam it into reverse, she goes right into reverse like you should. So comment below what you guys think. You like the 5600, you like the G56. You like the 4500, you got the get rig. You like the ISN, the 68. You like the Ford, don't talk about it. We'll see you on the next one, later.